All right, welcome back um, to game two of the London Grand Slam tournament. Um, this is uh, uh, I'm playing uh, Anton Scott, so Swedish Derby. Uh, I lost my previous game against Tassos, and unfortunately, the uh, uh, there was no picture in the stream. So sorry about that. I uh, just pressed the wrong buttons in um, OBS and didn't notice. So you just had a black screen and my voice not really explaining what was going on. So not much worth watching that. Uh, but yeah, Tassos beat me. Uh, he had some really good hands uh, in my defense. Um, started off all right, but uh, in the end, um, the his, his, sort of, his stronger hands and my lack of ops just sort of took its toll. Um, so second second game. Uh, let's start playing. It would be nice to win this one, so not uh, to drop down below 1600 of, on my playdeck rating. Let's see. I'm the US. He's not yet online, but I'm sure he will be in a bit. So let's look at the hand. Well, not the best, not the worst. Containment is probably the headline. Got nothing else really, uh, which will make it a fairly strong hand actually. Um, Vietnam can be delayed. <laughs> Shouting. Um, Um, yeah, Suez can be played, I guess, with a bit of um, Suez can be delayed without too much effort. Um, yeah, and then probably Dampasia. Depending on what happens, but probably um, not going to set up in France, obviously, with Suez. Just a standard setup there. And then headline this. Yeah, so he's saying that he's also streaming, so um, well, I'm headlining Truman there, so maybe not a strong hand from him. At least no strong headline. Uh, just get to remove Finland. Yeah, yeah, he said he's also streaming, so you can watch this game from both both perspectives if you feel like it. Yeah, then that's nice. You could actually have like two streams in the same on the same screen, and like you can see both hands. If you manage to sync them time-wise, I suppose. All right, standard coup in Iran, um, reasonably successful. Do I want to counter coup that? So I've got the Arab-Israeli war and Suez, so I don't have to strictly worry about Israel right now. Um, I think if I want to counter cure, then I should get rid of Asia first. So I think that's what I'm going to do before anything happens. Then of course, it would be nice to get some mil-ops. I think, hmm, I mean, he might have some of the access cards. I don't really want to help him get the. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, that's it. No counter coup for me, but a bunch of VPs instead. And I'm glad I got rid of Asia. All right, so he went into Panama there. Okay, so now we can just 
get out there. Um, let's use up this before I do anything else. And actually, and Lebanon and Malaysia. That's not too bad, actually. Okay. Hmm. We're going to hold on to Vietnam, and that's also a blockade card. And then I guess, like, I mean, this doesn't really do anything anymore. Uh, I'm worried, though. Why would you break Germany here? Like, yeah, you get access to France, you force me to do it, but he's not really creating threats anywhere else, so... Don't really... I mean, I could use Comic-Con right away. Guess that kind of works. I want to grab both France and West Germany. Really? Okay. Maybe this is good. I don't know. Maybe I should have filled up Spain there instead. Instead of the UK, because we just saw special, so... Might have been better. I don't know, is he, is he trying to get to Algeria? I should have gone to Angola before. Would have been good, probably. I just want to go into Libya before, before Nasser happens. I mean, Nasser is okay, though. I don't have to worry too much about it. Now what are you going to do, Anton? Ooh, all the ops. Yeah, I should have gone there. Um, well, I kind of have to trigger this. I guess he can just like follow up with um I need to go into Thailand at some point. I 
So now he just takes Turkey, and that's it. Should definitely fill up Spain there. But it's, at the same time, he spent so many ops in Europe right now. I'm not sure if that's worth it. Not the best hand. Um, gonna have to use Warsaw with blockade. Gonna hold on. Have to hold on to that. US there really isn't any headline here. Romanian, I suppose, because we haven't seen independence yet. But that could just also just give him decent old fuel. He's got plenty anyway, so that's not a problem. I mean, CIA is tempting, but then I just give him, you know, if I take the coup, then I give him France, so what's the point of that? Oh, for fuck's sake. This is very bad. Incredibly bad. And Truman is gone. Yeah, he's going to definitely take France now. I'm not going to be able to fight him over it. Oh, and I can't use blockade either. Or I have to use it with also packed. Went for the coup there. That gives me a shot at France. If I use US Japan. Or anything. Like Warsaw Pact is also fine. Yeah, let's trigger that. So, I'm wondering if he's got defectors, maybe, to uh, gamble with that headline. Or it could just be that he's happy to do it. Or he might have other four-up cards or whatever. I wonder if he's got the goal, maybe? Because I, I don't know if I would have gone for the coup there. It would give him a really strong position in the Middle East if he had rolled well, so maybe it was worth it. But also taking France when you have the chance. There you go. So now, actually, okay. Um... I mean, yeah, if I take this now with a 3, I'm on 7. That's not too bad. Like, he can then jam with a China card or whatever else he's got, but... I think it's worth it, and then just hold blockade. There's not nowhere for him to steal a card from me. It's there. But now I have nothing for the rest of this turn, so... Going to try and secure Thailand, going to Libya, uh, just to make sure that he Middle East doesn't completely disintegrate. And then Nasser is going to have to go last, I think. Or Vietnam Revolts, I suppose, has to go last. Failing space, that helps. Uh, so we're going to have to play CAA now, I think. Into Libya. There we go, did have defectors. Taking Algeria. 
that was kind of expected. Can't really prioritize that right now. Uh, I think he's probably aware that I don't have any scoring cards. It's a bit of a shame to, to do that and then show him that I don't have the scoring. Doesn't have to worry about it. But that was my only option. Comes Independent Reds, triggering Romania. Or triggering in Romania. Um, yep. What did he do? He filled up Turkey. Yes. He's spending a lot of effort on Europe, uh, which, to be honest, I don't mind so much. Like, I'd be uh, less happy if he spent it in the Middle East or, or Asia, to be honest. So now. Uh, I'm going to have to trigger NASA, unfortunately. And then I'm going to have to go... I'm going to have to give up Egypt, I think. And just go Laos. Actually, no. I need to... Yeah. Um, I need to... Um, need to still fill up uh, Thailand, because Vietnam is only going to get me one as well. It's protected against the China card in Thailand. This was a brutal turn, but I feel like it could have gone a lot worse. He could have been in France by now if he had made the, if he had uh, wanted to. Could be holding Marshall, that's why he's filling up these the non battlegrounds in Europe. No. Five year plan with the. Uh, what's he holding? At least, really? Oh, so he would have liked to not do that now, but then he had to. Hmm. Oh, he didn't have... well, he had to... yeah, it doesn't make any sense he could have scored it, but then he wouldn't have had the domination, so... Very interesting. Okay, this gets the trigger, and... Or actually, I could just space it. No, I can't, because I'm... I'm scared! And then I have to do that. But like I said, this could have been a lot worse by now. Um, Asia again. Okay, so what does he have now? Well, we have seen all the scorings. I've recycled more ideas European. And blockade, obviously, obviously I've, I've held on to. So we haven't seen Marshall yet. So he's got that. And also NATO, I think. That's worrying. Oh, no, we've seen NATO. But Marshall is the one that's still left of the four ops. What about nuclear? I don't know we've seen that. Okay, so he's got Marshall, which is fine for him. And then what else? Uh, we saw Korean War, I think, in the first round. Yes. I've got Indo Pakistani. Um, I've got Socialists. He, we've seen all the Red Threes. He has got. Do we see Duck? Yeah, he played Duck. Um. Oh, he's got decal. Definitely. Um, Olympic Games. I feel like he might have. Yeah. Uh, 
feel like there's a blue three as well. Um, but I can't figure out. Seen containment, seen NORAD. Uh, five year plan. Dark East European. You an intervention. That's the one. Okay. Um, so, what do I have line here? I mean, for all I know, he could still have he could have red scare again. So, don't want to do that. Do I have any shot at domination in Asia? Yes, I do actually. Uh, my hand is not great, but it's not terrible either. I think Fidel maybe goes to space, but I have to, and then blockade with these style, I have to, then I have to trigger socialists, which is not great, but it works, I guess. And then I've got a few ops. I mean, I, uh, the, the, the most optimal thing here, I think, would be to, for my, for the flow of my, of my turn, would be to headline blockade and get rid of D-style right away. But if he's redrawn Red Scare, then I'm fucked. It could still be worth it. Unless he's also redrawn Defectors, I don't think he'd be headlining Red Scare. But it's certainly possible. He knows I've got the blockade, he knows I've got D-style, so he knows I could be thinking about doing that. But then he's probably also suspecting that I might have a better headline, so... Uh, it's a tough call. Uh, I mean, NORAD... Actually, NORAD is not that bad. Although it is turn 3, so we could have an early quag and then it's a waste, but... Uh, right now, that would open up Egypt for me. That's pretty much all it would do, really. Uh, actually, it would give me Asia domination. That'd be pretty cool. Huh, maybe that's a good idea. Let's do it. Oh, whew. Okay, I'm in trouble again, but I'm glad I didn't headline um, blockade there, because that would have killed me. <coughs> so now I'm, I need to hold blockade again. I need to space destyle. I need to... Just event socialist, and it's going to be. I'm not going to be able to repair it. Is he still going to UN Marshall? Yes, he is. I probably would have done that, but it depends on what he's got uh, as well. Okay, yeah, not good, but this is quite good. Oh no, it doesn't give me Asia. Why doesn't it? Oh, we've got the same number of backgrounds. What am I talking about? Fuck, that was um, that was lame. Um, then I don't know. I mean, I'm definitely not doing that. Uh, yeah, he's going to be able to fight me in Asia. I'm going to break Egypt. Because it's the one thing that makes any sense, really. And then... I can't believe I'm getting scared twice. That's awful. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's try Asia. It's worth a shot, I think. Yeah, so then I probably shouldn't have headline nor ad. But then I, if I hadn't done that, I think probably blockade would have been my headline. So I'm kind of glad I, I managed to <clears throat> convince myself that I would get Asia domination. Because obviously, otherwise I might have headlined blockade and that would have been awful. Oh yeah, of course he had that. So that's my dream of Asia gone. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to have to give this up. Uh, 
If I play Socialist last, it's kind of okay. I'm going to have to trigger Fidel as well. Yeah. No escaping that. Oh, yeah, I forgot that one. Yeah, I think I think it was better to dump Beja there than to try and... Um, let's... Then I don't have to... I don't have to strictly worry about space, so let's... Let's play this, and let's defend Thailand. Although... Uh, actually... No, it could get really ugly in Asia if it takes Thailand as well. Don't think he would use the China card for that now, though, considering that Asia just got scored, but still. It's a long term investment, I think. But yeah, this is looking terrible. So, spacing D style next, I guess. Oh, he's got all the ops too. Yeah, nothing I can do about that right now. Alright, I'm in space. And I've got this for the event, uh, which could be uh, VPs and Milops. And then Socialists last, and whatever he does, he's not going to be able to really. Um, exploit that situation. Okay. Another point. Nice. Middle East is obviously looking awful. Uh, I, I, get, I guess I have to hope for an early start. I'll also try to spread, but it's not going to be easy. Well, it depends on what I get, obviously. Africa Control, how lovely. Alright, so in Canada? Interesting, okay. I don't really have to repair that. Well, I do have to repair Canada, actually. Even though I haven't got any NORAD situations either. I can, like, Egypt is the best one, and that's not really significant. Okay, I can get rid of Middle East and Blockade. South America scoring. But it's not... I mean, and if I, if I play Blockade, and I still have to play Kennedy this turn. I can't hold him. And then I'm thinking I might as well get some effect out of him. I don't strictly have to decide that now, uh, although if I want to event him then headline is good timing for that. I think also voice is quite important to get him out of Africa while there's still time. Um... But yeah, I don't like not triggering blockade either. I could leave Kennedy in the deck, but then Lone Gunman is still coming up, so I mean I could I could discard Kennedy with blockade. That's a strange thing to do. Uh I quite like a duck headline here, although it's not completely safe. So probably not gonna do that. Uh voice is a good headline. Missile Envy is a is a good headline as well, because I have duck. Of course, if he had lines like Cuban, and then why would he headline Cuban? Um, or anything that lowers Defcon, and then I draw. We will bury you. I mean, it's not it's not safe, but it could be worth a shot, I suppose. 
I think voice is good because he he wants to I want to kick him out of Africa obviously but also Panama um if I don't play Kenny then I have to trigger this which is pretty depressing it's five EPs not terrible but Actually, if I trigger, he doesn't even have a coup target either, so I think voice is the headline. I think I'd rather get rid of blockade. I mean, the, the advantage of, of eventing Kennedy is that I get, um, I, I can avoid Middle East, but, the, but that's pretty much the only thing that I've yeah. I mean, I don't mind triggering this unless he's he headlines D style or whatever. That could be a problem. I think I'm going to go with voice as the headline. Okay. I mean, he still doesn't have a co target, so I guess he's going to try. Oh, Thailand. Right. I suppose. Or a real line somewhere, maybe. Or he might just decide to spread now that I play voice. He could try and sort of defend Africa. That does require a fair amount of ops. Hmm. Yeah. That made it much less good. Uh, but let's still remove these two. And then... Syria for the domination. And I suppose... Maybe this. Now, if he wants to coup, then I can. Then he can counter coup. That was actually a really good counter against voice, uh, ABM treaty, because whatever, like he can move back in, and whatever I coup, he can just counter coup. So this does also let me play missile envy now if I want to. I could get something nice, but um, or even duck, venting duck. If he coos. Ooh, China card. He does coo. Thailand. Not the best roll. Uh, but he's he gets what he hoped for because now I have to now I have to Which I can do. I mean Now I can defend Thailand again. I would quite like to use Missile Envy. The fact that he used the China card here tells me that if he had a normal 4 op, maybe he would have used that first. He could have something like uh, Alliance would be horrible. Um, what would be good? Um, NATO still out there. NATO would be horrible as well. Um, yeah. There might not be that many 4-ops, to be honest, that I really want. I mean, obviously we've got all the, the big ones. Oh no, well, uh, what was I talking about before with We Will Bury You? Miscellany would have been a fine headline. Um, but yeah, I was um, I got things mixed up there. Uh, but yeah, 
Um, I could play it now, but there's a risk that he will just take Thailand and I get something awful. I could also just play the play the uh, event duck. Then he just takes Thailand. I, I feel like I kind of have to take Thailand to keep Asia alive. Let's go Olympic Games into Thailand. And then he gets to coup again, but he doesn't have a target, so he probably won't. He could go Lebanon. I might do that in this case. But since I'm still in Egypt, it doesn't really... Yeah, that's what he's doing, I think. Oh, yes. Then I guess I'll just coup it back. But now I'm kind of running out of cards here. Um, the Pope? I don't strictly need the Pope, but I kind of like events in him. But I guess I won't. It's a nice coup. Hoping to get to... Oh. Okay. <sighs> mm -hmm. Can I have another Portuguese? Mm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry. Start speaking Swedish now. <laughs> Um, yeah, Missile Envy. <laughs> I mean, I can always get rid of the scoring, so for now it's kind of okay, even if it, even if it's like this, but then I have to play Kennedy, and then I might draw something. I think it might be worth a shot. If I get something good with Missile Envy, then I can work around the Middle East, I suppose, or I could coup Libya or something. Let's try it. So, of course, all the all the four ops, all the red four ops are perfect targets for this. There we go. Um, I'll use that for a coup in Iran, I think. Ah, nasty. Um, well, I've kind of gotten to a position where I just need to use Kennedy for for its effect. There's literally nothing I can use this for. Put one more in. I mean, I can always open up Egypt. It's such a waste because of that and it doesn't do anything. Special could be coming back, so we, we might want to fill up the UK. He didn't even need the missile, like, um, he didn't even need a Muslim Revolution. It would have been still quite horrible, though, to get kicked out of Egypt completely. So now I'm not going to use Duck. Uh, but let's see. I definitely have to um, event this now. Blockade's coming back. That's awful. I might as well get rid of that. Okay. Much better cards. I'll give them that. Them. Who is them here? The people running the RNG. Panama Canal would have been nice to have earlier. Bear Trap is a good AR7. Grain, so I'm going to hold for next turn. So then it's dark. Oh, wait, how many? Five, six, seven. Uh, yeah. 
Flint stock and Panama Canal. So I guess I might as well event this, although right now I kind of feel like I have to go there and here. I could have done Panama Canal first. That would have been better. And actually, Panama Canal just gives him a coup target in Venezuela, so... But then I, uh, I've got Bear Trap Iron Grains, so I don't think I have to worry about the coup right now. Defectors, that's a point. I mean, the board state is looking pretty awful, but the VPs are kind of okay right now. Just have to avoid Africa scoring. Ah, oh, that's not fair. Okay, this is a manageable hand. Nucleus subs is quite nice. Although I'm not sure I want to headline. I'm just not sure I want to vent it, uh, headline it. Uh, although how I learned, followed by. But I'm getting the coup, so I should not waste that. Uh, OES puts me back into South America. Yusuri is tempting, but not not uh, critical. Like I, Asia has been scored, but I think definitely Yusuri for the event at some point. In fact, it's a decent headline. No, Grains is the best headline. Then I can... Yeah, Grains and then maybe Nucleus Sounds to really... I've got a bunch of cards that I don't strictly have to play for the event. I think Liberation goes to space. I think it's the hold card. I think it's not terrible right now though, so it could be played. And I could break one of these. But I suppose Grains is always the best headline, isn't it? I think so. Okay, well, that's nice for him. Chair. That's very playable. Um, And then where, go, where do we go with... Uh, my, the rest of my cards aren't that strong, so I think maybe Angola, and then followed by... Kuenzeo with... Oh, actually, maybe not. No, let's go to safer. Should have gone with Angola. Hmm. Let's see, if he fails the first bear trap roll, then I could actually event how I land. No. He does, and NATO. Um, that means he doesn't have any other bad cards. That's a shame. Uh, and I would have liked Nato to trigger with his hand. So, he's failed. Um, if I'm going to event nuclear subs... But I could also bring Defcon up to 4 with how I learned. Leave nuclear subs in the deck, then, then he plays a card, then I coup. And he goes, no, I have to put it on three. And Nuclear Subs does that just as fine, and then, yeah, no, that's much better. Okay. 
these out. And I'll go how I learned into Angola. Nice. Mm. Lovely. Um, just in time. Then I think OAS. Mm -hmm. um, mm. Should I do more coups? Africa's been scored. Isn't that much to, to coup. One small step I kind of want to hold on to. I think maybe space. What should I spread into? Chile first. If I play OPEC, if I'm happy to play OPEC, no, there's no need if. No, now it's three points as well. Let's not do it. Let's space. I mean, I'm just worried about the realignment of Argentina, but I think it's got better things to do. Like what, though? Like going into. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. Maybe not. But I mean, in Brazil as well, so. Yeah, I just want to get up in the space. There, it didn't work. Okay. Yeah, he had things to do apparently as well, apart from getting out of the trap. Mm, I think it's maybe time for your Surrey now. And go to an in India. One in Pakistan. Two in Pakistan. Yeah. So I've got two cards left now. Ooh, summit. Not not good. For him, that is. Um okay, I don't need Formosa now. I can just grab Asia Domination. I feel like I'm not really using my uh, nuclear subs, but it kind of did do its job, and my coup cards are not strong enough. Like if I'm, if I wanted to coup anything, it would be Nigeria, which I don't know. In the long term, gives me Africa domination, but it's not really something I desperately have to do now. Oh wow, uh, he did not have good cards this turn. Not your favorite turn to get quanged. If he had failed with five year plan, he would have had to put. Cultural on the trap, and then it would have been, yeah. If he had failed that, that would have been horrible for him. Um, now I do kind of want to use one small step for what for its effect, but I suppose I don't strictly have to do that. I think I'm just going to fill up Argentina to be sure he doesn't coup it, or I could. Leave it and open up Brazil. Or Panama. It's quite nice. No, I have to have to be in South America somehow. Yeah, let's 
Maybe let's do that. Then you can queue Argentina, but I think I have to take my chance there. Okay, shuttle doesn't do much. Alliance doesn't do much. Uh, a lot of red cards, but mainly things I can work around. Lone gunman, too bad. Um, yeah, how do I get rid of that? Kennedy's gone. Containment is gone. Yep. Gonna have to get rid of it. Somehow. Um, what do I headline as well? Everything is pretty bad. Shuttle is... It's not a complete giveaway. Alliance gives me two VPs. Or I could just headline... Um, I could actually headline Cambridge because everything's been scored apart from, apart from Central. And he might have that. And if he doesn't, it's kind of fine if he knows I don't have it. Yeah, let's let's do that. It's not the most common headline as the US, but I, I feel like I want to keep Alliance in the deck. It's not really off. I mean, two points. It's not really worth spending on it. Uh, it's not worth spending for two points. Is what I was trying to say there. Um, we've seen how I learned, we've seen ABM, so there's, there's really, I mean, Lone Gunman, it's hard to get rid of, I think I'm going to have to hold it for a turn and then wait for a better, it's not a bad headline, oh, not fair, but I've still got domination, we haven't seen Brush though, so Brush in Thailand could really, uh, coup with the China card. Okay, that's two of EPs. And it didn't really do much damage. I get to place an influence. Brazil, probably? Or Panama, I suppose. Might be nice. Then what? I could play the China card. I don't strictly have to. And I kind of want to hold on to it if I'm holding Lone Gunman. So yes, I think I'll do that. I don't love for him to get into Angola, but I'm strong in Zaya, so it probably is okay. So I think I'm going to go shuttle into Panama. Or I could use Flower Power. We know Brush War is still out there. But I don't have it. And then I could get Angola as well. I think it's probably worth it. I'm gonna I'm gonna trigger it anyway, so might as well be now. He knows I don't have central, so if he doesn't have it, then he doesn't have to. Uh, to play it now. Mm, he's got brush war. I thought he might. But then he goes into Panama, so I kind of got away with the worst brush war. Like, I would have hated Argentina, uh, Italy, um, Thailand would have been much worse. Egypt would have been horrible. So that kind of, yeah, I don't know. I think that was maybe a mistake by him. Italy would have been lovely for him. Um, Thailand would have been worth a shot. And Argentina, like, yeah, Egypt. 
Egypt would have been absolutely devastating. Mm. I don't know if that maybe was a gut, gut reaction on, uh, because I took it, but at the same time, and he probably has central, but I mean, it's, it's four points. Uh, let's continue. What was I doing? I need to shore up. Oh, actually, hmm. This, I have to play one of these two. Or I could hope for a double space. I mean, Quag is obviously obviously the worst option. Um, Opic is three. I can break one. Let's let's space. Yes, all right. So that kind of forces him to space. Oh, and he succeeds. So then I guess I might as well trigger Opic now. And I think probably Venezuela is the better choice. And then I've got one more op, and that can go into Angola. I guess this doesn't trigger, does it? No. So then, Alliance, because I want to recycle it. I really should go into Israel as well, because Middle East is hanging by a thread. And overprotect Mexico because Central is happening. There we go. Not much I can do about that. Oh, I've got a Yende to worry about as well. Okay, so I need to fill up Chile with one extra. Then I've got, I've got three ops in the last action round to play around with in Mexico and the Middle East. Mm. Yeah, not great. Might just have to give him that. Or I could, like, take back Angola, because then if he tries to take Chile, I don't think he's going to bother with that. And then I can play Brezhnev to counter that. Hmm. Okay. Uh, where do I want to go? Saudi Arabia, definitely. Um, quite a lot of interesting options here. Might just put one in Israel. Or in the European countries. It's 5-5 five, five, five actually. So Europe domination is that not that far up. Far away. Uh, but then he's got Austria and this. So. Um, Dominican Republic. And maybe El Salvador. That still doesn't give me. Still doesn't stop his domination. I mean, Africa as well would be good, probably. Cameroon, Sound States.
difficult. Um, yeah, why not? But maybe I'll just kill one of these. Or he might want to use his points for something else. He doesn't need a Milops. Oh, actually, I need to coup as well, and I can. I can go and hate see. Quite good coup targets. Should have done that earlier. So I feel like I want to use Spanish for other things. Defending Mexico is very important. It's two milops, but I think defending Mexico is more important. Be honest. Yeah, and you know, I need to coup, but I'm, I'm not going to coup. I'm just going to do this. One more in Mexico, and then just fill up these two, I guess. Not optimal. I should have cooed earlier, but I think under those circumstances, that was the better choice. Better than the coup. Not a bad hand. Definitely not a bad hand. Not much I can do about central, though. Um, Junter, I guess, is the headline here. Take something in. Yeah, and then start a coup war in central. I want to event most of these, although salt is obviously not that useful. Five year plan, I can easily op. OPEC goes to space, or we will bury you goes to space, probably. Spacing is also a priority. And brush war, I would probably play in Panama. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's how I solve central. Brush war in Panama, lovely. And then I'm still holding a lone gunman. And I can't use Cuban because he's in Cuba. Unless I realign it first. I want to do the coup warring. But now I'm uh, I'm getting too many priorities here. But yes, definitely realigning Cuba would be nice. Okay, I can live with that. Gives him domination. Which means he probably has the scoring card. It gives him Angola as well. It's not a bad, not a bad headline if he didn't have anything better. So where do I go exactly? I think Venezuela. Not a great coat. So he knows I have, I have brush war, right? Oh no, he had brush war. So he doesn't know. What do I know he has? We've seen all the red fours. You two, that's one. Yep. Okay, then I think it's probably time for the brush war, since he knows central is coming up. I think that's more important than space. This is bad. This is war games territory now. Uh, but I have to. I have to try. Nice, lovely. It would have been war games territory if I just scored central. So definitely worth a shot. Now spacing or scoring? Uh, he's going to even out central now, so not going to worry about that for now. I'm going to space first. Okay, great. Bringing the VPs down. And then we're going to try a 
a coup war in, in Central. And if I manage to realign him out of Cuba, then I can trigger Lone Gunman with Cuban, but that's a really far-fetched sort of scenario. Let's try this. Eh, it's not that far-fetched. But then I have to coup with five-year plan. And then probably realign with the China card, maybe? Can I do this? Um, I need to hold on to that. Um, I can play OPIC, but it's three points now, and that's quite important. I'd rather not. If I have to play it in my last action round, then I can at least cancel one of the countries. Um, I've got five-year plan for a coup, and then China card for realign. If I don't get rid of... but it has to work. The problem then is that... He, then, well... I'm, I'm going to try the coup anyway, because at least it gives me domination back for now. Oh, that's horrible. That's horrible. Now he's just going to counter coup, and then I can't do the lone gunman thing. Yeah. Unless he fails this. He does not. Could he even fail, theoretically? He rolled a three. If he rolled two more, two more would have been, two less would have been uh, empty. So I guess that would have kind of been the same thing, almost. Uh, then I still could have tried the realign. Uh, now it's not going to work. Is it still worth it? Probably not. So then I'm just going to score central. Although then I'm going to use Cuban for ops, so I might as well grab Guatemala. Oh no. I could still actually try another coup. Because if nothing else, it gives me central domination. And it threatens the rear line. Hmm, really not sure about this. Or should I just give it up? It's zero points. But I'm going to have to play both Cuban and OPEC. What do I get from it? Three points? Two points? Three points, I think. That's not... That's not... Um... Uh, or is there something better to do with it? I mean, fill up bits of the Middle East. Um... Securing uh, Asia Dom. Maybe. Probably. Um, if I coup, he's going to have to counter coup. It could fail. Or he could just walk into Guatemala, really. Doesn't need to counter coup. Yeah, it's not going to do anything. Let's uh, score it. Hmm.
Ooh, did not expect that. Wow. Technically, I don't really have to take Afghanistan, but it's, I guess it's good with the IP wall. Yeah, I think that's good. Well, this is not a bad hand. Really not a bad hand. We will bury this in the discard. Duck is okay. I mean, there's a theoretical chance that he might headline Cal. Because he knows it's safe. So, and the grain size is always the best headline. I quite do like Chernobyl here as well, with Europe. Um, I might, it might be worth to play later on. Then again, I do have quite a lot of things I need to do. Although Duck, I suppose if I event Chernobyl, then Duck could go in there. Voice, obviously not. What's the best voice target here? Indonesia, maybe? Uh, Libya? Angola? He knows, I, he knows I've got Lone Gunman still, and I've been holding it since forever. Or was it turn 6, maybe? I think so. Not really forever, but it feels like a long time. I am running out of of um, time a little bit. I need to play a bit faster because it's really hung, hanging in the balance now. I think it's actually in my favour if it goes to final scoring, judging from. But Asia Asia is not a strong domination. It's, it's changed quickly. Oh yeah, and Norad is still in effect as well. Solidarity. Well, that's a shame, but it's a coup. What? Ugh. I guess he's got special, maybe? But Nord has, NATO hasn't triggered, so no. But why would he remove from the UK? It's my one non battleground, I guess, but still. Yep, holding on to Africa. So, um. Are we spacing Iran Contra? We just play it last. I do quite like to space. So I can have a shot at the three VPs there. But there are more important things to do. So I, I need to make up my mind if I'm going to use Chernobyl or not. It could theoretically, like, because I'm thinking maybe breaking some of these countries. But I don't have that many ops anyway. And uh, there are, like, chances to get domination elsewhere, like Eastern Europe, or... Hmm. Yeah, no, not going to do that. Um, what else? Okay, so I could remove him from Libya. Angola's not happening now. Um, yeah, voice, I think, in Libya, and... Oh, uh, no. Or should I just take Libya? No, it's a good voice. It's just that I would like to do a voice in Iran and Iraq as well, but that's really not really important. Uh, let's voice and let's kick him out of there. And where else? Indonesia, definitely. 
and maybe open up um, Yeah, let's not spend time on this then as well. I've got ten minutes. I really need to hurry up. Because even if I don't I don't think I will run actually run out of time, the fact that it stresses you towards the end of the game is really really bad. Uh, as for war games, I don't think there's any point in holding on to it. Um Salt is gone, so he's not going to be able to salt it if he gets the, the lead. Yeah, okay. Um, then we could space, I guess. Alright, headline peak for the last two rounds. Okay, I'm I'm okay. I'm gonna have to play the China card. <laughs> yeah, and that's terrorism gone. If he's also got Aldrich, then I'm in real trouble. But terrorism is worth playing anyway, so he might not have Aldrich just because he played it. Um, I should play the China card because cultural can still happen. I'm getting nervous now. Has he got Aldrich as well? That would be really lucky if he did. No. He would have played it by now. Alright. Um, Iron Lady. Oh, you can just steal Argentina there. I should have protected it. I still forget about these things. Um, I'll try to break it in the, um, I could have evented that before, so let's just, um, he might go into Peru now. But then I'll just break Argentina with war games. Oh, okay, that's not that bad. That's fine. Um, he doesn't even have access to Egypt, so let's not go crazy. Mm. That was the reason. GG. Oh, what? <laughs> It's always Nigeria. Wow. Okay, now I can't type anything. <laughs> uh,
just a bunch of typing in Swedish, We're talking about, um, he's asking why I didn't event five year plan in turn seven, which I could have done. Um, I was thinking that he might have something like duck. Um, but then of course, after he spaced, which is, he pointed out after he spaced, then, um, he, I could probably have been fairly certain they didn't have duck. Um, I didn't think that far, but at the same time, I kind of wanted to use the ops to, or Haiti and Kuring in central. I was still hoping for that thing, so, so, um, Uh, so I think that was still a, a decent call. If if I get like a crappy event from him, then I can't get, do the coup thing. Um, so if he watches this, uh, I can't be bothered to type all that down. But because I had the uh, the opportunity to get rid of CIA with with uh, Cuban, if I had managed to realign Cuba, I I kind of focused on that. Mm, yeah, I should have known he had CIA, uh, which I completely did not. Uh, and then I, I understand why he thought I should have used five year plan. Uh, even though, I mean, um, Lone Gunman was my main threat. Apart from that, I think I probably would have won in final scoring. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So yeah, uh, I should have known about CIA. Obviously, uh, did not. It was played in the. I, I played it in the uh, in the early war, and then it got recycled, and then I forgot about it. Uh, I wasn't sure if I if I had seen it like later on or not, but I should definitely have kept track of that. And then, of course, it makes a lot more sense to event five year plan because then that's GG. Um. So that was the reason why he. Ask me about that. Um, still, I mean, mm, yeah. If he had had something else, uh, it would have been. It wasn't completely risk free. But, uh, but yeah, that would have been, have been probably the smartest thing, especially since I had lone gunmen as well. So, um, I could have. Um, I was always sort of. Taking a risk with that, um, holding on to it. <laughs> but yeah, it's interesting. It's a sort of a lone gunman CIA duel here at the end. Uh, but like I said, I, I feel like I played okay. Um, I, I think I probably would have won in final scoring anyway. So this maybe wasn't decisive, so to speak. Um, but if he had gotten all rich next turn and he had the China card now, you know. Could have been, uh, could have been uh, bad. All right, um, nice to win a game, and especially against Anton, uh, who is a better player than me. And uh, I'm uh, back on track after the first two games. I will see you for the next one. Let's see when it is. Um, three o'clock, and then an hour, so four o'clock Swedish time. Nice. I get a lunch break. Lovely.
Right. Um, thanks for watching. See you for the next one.